Here's a really neat cap autococker body. It's kind of a combination between the Razorback and the Classic. Round body in front, notched on the back to take the Razorback sight rail. I recently found out from Rich PB on Facebook and Instagram that these bodies may have been made for total grief, so I'm going to check in on that. This one came from a seller on Facebook who was in the St. Louis area, and I bought it just as the body. The ASA front block, sight rail, back block, and bolt. I have this groovy frame on here, but I think I'm going to switch the groovy frame onto a flame cocker, and I'm going to put a double, a crazy double swing on this. Razorback sight rail screws on on the top, rounded, round top in the front. It's a very nice round top, actually. And then obviously flat where the Razorback sight rail is. So now I'm going to take the bolt and the back block out, and we're going to look at the cut throughs. So here's a look at the cut throughs. Pretty wild. This Razorback sight rail is screwed in from the top. Unfortunately, it blocks the lug adjustment hole. It's held on by two 1032 screws. You'll see the lug adjustment hole is drilled in the body. It's just not visible with the sight rail on. Now let's look at the bolt, which I have seen a couple times on cap autocockers, but I don't know where it actually came from. I don't know if Dirk Gadbury milled that for cap. I don't know if somebody else made it for gap. I don't even know if that's a cap bolt. The bolt is pre-2K, Delrin, open face, notch for O-rings. Now let's just get one more look at this reverse fade. Pretty spectacular. If anybody has a yellow gold splash barrel that maybe fades into something else, let me know.